What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingView.com and in this video, we're going to add sounds to our feed Aspen game for Pygame and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add sounds to our feed Aspen game. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingView.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we want to add sound effects and background music and do a couple little tweaks to finish up this game. So what I did is I went out and I found a bunch of sound effects. I've got a sound effect for when we eat the food, for when we miss the food, just regular background music, a little sound that plays when the game is over, and I think that's it. So I save these in our sound directory in the same directory where our file is in this games directory. And here's the sounds, here's the background. Here's the sound when we miss the food. Oh! Here's the sound when we eat the food. Do that one again. It's just a dog barking. And here's the game over sound. So these are the sounds we're going to use. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Batch Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pi Game series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's start out by defining our sound effects. So I'm just going to come right up here and let's define sound effects. And we've done this in past videos in this playlist, so we already sort of know how to do this. I'm going to create variables. I'm going to call it hit sound and let's see miss underscore sound. So when we miss the food or when we hit the food and uh, we also want a game over sound. And these are just going to be pi game dot mixer dot sound and then we want to pass in the path to where our sound is sitting. So this is our sounds directory and the hit sound is dog.mp3. And let me just kind of copy all of this and we'll come down here and paste and paste. And the miss sound is aw. So it goes aw whatever. And then the game over sound is game underscore over. Now I've got a relative path here because like I said, this sounds directory is in the same directory where this file is sitting in our games directory. Otherwise you would have to go like, you know, C slash whatever slash whatever. Uh, but since these are all in the same directory, we could just use relative paths. So, okay, we've got our sound effects defined. Now in order to use these, we just have to dot play them whenever we want. So when do we want to play the hit sound? That means like, Aspen got the food. Well, that's when Aspen, let's see, it's come down here and collides. It's this collision, right? So whenever Aspen collides with the food, she's eaten the food. And that's when we want to play the sound of her barking uh, like she ate the food. So uh, let's come down here and let's say uh, play sound. And we could just go hit sound dot play and that's all there is to it. So that works there. So we've got our hit sound. Now we need our miss sound. So anytime Aspen misses, so let's come down here. And here we have if the food is less than zero, then we're taking off a life. So Aspen missed the food. Let's say play sound. And this is going to be miss sound dot play. There we go. That looks good. And then we just have the game over sound. So now with this, there's a little hiccup here and I'll show you in just a second, but we can come down here and we can see when the lives equal zero, we're changing the text, we're doing some things. And here we can, let's say, play game over sound. So dot play. So if we run this, this almost works. It works for the hit and the miss, but this game over thing, there's going to be a little hiccup. And I'll show you what that is in just a second here. Well, let's just come over here and, and run this guy. So I'm in my C slash games directory. I got my virtual environment turned on and let's run Python aspen.py. And so here, all right, hit dog bark, another dog bark. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Game over. Oh. It just keeps playing over and over the sound. It sort of makes sense if we think about it because we're in an if loop. And as long as this thing is true, it's just going to keep looping and it's just going to keep playing, right? So 
Instead of that, let's come up here to the top. And when we define our variables here, let's call play sound and set this equal to true. So this is just a variable set to equal to true. You can name it anything you want, but as long as this is true, we want to be able to play a sound. And then down here in our loop, we can set that variable to false and then that will stop playing. So let's come down here to our game sound and let's say if playing, or you could say if playing equals true, but the same way to type that is just by typing if playing, then let's play our game sound and then let's set playing equal to false. So this will be set to false and then this will turn this to false and then it won't play that sound anymore. Otherwise it just keeps looping like we heard. So let's go ahead and save that. Come back over here, run this guy again, make sure this is working. So we roof. <laughs> speed it up a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. And now, uh oh, playing is not, oh man, what did I do? Uh, if playing, yeah, uh, we name this if play sound doy. <laughs> so let's come down here and change this to play sound. And of course this needs to be changed to play sound as well. So, oh, okay, go ahead and save this. I've done a lot of weird typos, but that one might have just been the worst. So, okay, let's eat a couple of these. Roof, roof. Speed it up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that seems to work. Now, if we hit play again, oh. right away it goes, aw. Well, we oh. kind of looked at that problem in the last video, and that's why when we restart the thing, we set the lives to six, but then it immediately ends again because we've positioned the food a certain way. So let's go ahead and change that real quick. Let's fix that. We'll put this back to lives equal five whenever the game press P button gets hit, and then, in order to fix that little thing, that little glitch there, we just need to come down to, let's see, our lives. When we go to zero, we're, we're doing the food thing here. Let's change this from zero to window underscore width plus 100. And I think we could just take this off even. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and save this. And that should take care of that. So um, let's see. That's probably good. We, I don't think we need to restart it and play it again, but we'll see it in just a second to make sure that worked. But one thing we do need to do is, let's see, this play sound, it's set to false, but when the game starts over, we need to reset it back to true. So here, when we press the P key, let's set this to true to reset that so that the next time if we play again, the sound thing works. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this. Let's run this just to make sure those two things worked. So let me eat a couple to speed this up. Okay, now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, so now if I hit P to play again, our lives should go to the five and we should be good to go. All right, so now let's speed this up. Make sure it all works. Again, oh, next time through, oh, everything's, being re everything's being reset correctly. Oh, oh. Okay, and that seems to work. So, so far so good. Now all we need is the background music. So let's come up here and let's define background music. And this is slightly different than playing a sound. Again, we looked at this back at the beginning of this playlist when we talked about sounds and music and stuff. So go watch that if you need to. But basically we could just go pygame dot mixer dot music dot load and then load in our sound. So that's in our sound directory. And the name of this one is bg dot wave. And I went around the internet finding these things. Uh, some of them I got from free websites, other ones I had to pay for. Use any sounds you want, obviously. So, you know, whatever. And then here we've defined it. Now we need to play the uh, background music. And to do that, we just go pygame dot mixer dot music dot play. And again, we need to set how many times we want this to play. Negative one is a loop. And then the speed is one zero point zero. 
And then the starting time is 0.0. .0. We want to start it at the beginning. And that's all there is to it. So this will just play the music on a loop forever. But we don't necessarily want that. We want to turn off the music whenever we lose the game, right? So that's sort of, you know, we play the game over sound effect, but then we want to turn off the background music. So how do we do that? Well, let's come to our lives equals zero section here. And let's turn off BG music, background music. And to do that, we just call pygame.mixer.music.stop. And we could do it right there. Maybe we want to put it in this play sound section. I don't know. Uh, turn music loop off, let's say. Doesn't really matter either way. But then again, when we press this P button to restart the game, we need to then restart the music again, right? So again, we could just come up here and copy this guy. And let's come down here to our pressing the P thing section. Let's see. There we go. Let's say check for P to restart the game. Let's make this a little more obvious. So here is where we're resetting the score text. And after that, we'll play the music. So, okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this, run it, see if that all worked. Go to the screen and run this guy. All right. So we got background music, we got barking Aspen. Oh, 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 oh. And then when we die, it says game over. The music stops. All right, if we press P to play again, the background music starts up again. Everything resets. Oh, we're crushing it this time. <laughs> all right, and that's it. So I think we're gonna call this one done. Super simple, just took all the things we've learned in the last four or five, six videos or so, put it all together, and we've got a little game here now. Obviously, this is not a super sophisticated game, but you know, we're just getting started and I don't, it's a, it's a game, you know, it's kind of fun sort of for like 30 seconds. I don't know. Uh, so play around with this. Maybe, you know, after a certain point, you can like send out something else onto the screen, like a, a strawberry or something. Aspen loves strawberries. And if she gets the strawberry, maybe it slows the food back down a little bit. Uh, you know, something like that, put in roadblocks, put in bombs that come across where if Aspen gets it, she dies. I, I, I don't know. I play around with it, do whatever you can, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodobi.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 180,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from Kodobi.com, and I'll see you in the next video.